Hello, I'm Dr. Israel Barkin, the Medical Director of the Prostate Cancer Research and Education Foundation. Today we are going to talk about two new posters that were presented at the European Society of Clinical Oncology that tell us more information about the alpha radin. I talked about alpha radin in our previous video blogs and you are referred to as Dr. Barkin dot wordpress.com to view the previous reports on alpha radin. Alpha radin basically it is a radioisotope that gets attached to the cancer in the bone but it has the advantage of not having deep penetration so other elements of the bone marrow are not affected. So let's go now and review the two posters published at the recent European meeting. New analysis from phase 3, I'm not going to uh, pronounce this <laughs> name, it's LASYMPCA trial in patients with castration resistant prostate cancer with bone metastasis. This was presented at the ESMO that stands for the European Society of Medical Oncology. It is a phase 3 study and it happened in Vienna, Austria on 28 September to 2nd of October 2012. The first poster of this meeting is poster number 936P. This was presented by Dr. Oliver Salter about cytotoxic chemotherapy following radium 223 therapy in phase 3 study in patients with castration resistant prostate cancer with bone metastasis. The first analysis conducted and presented by Dr. Oliver Sartor from Tulane Cancer Center in Tulane Medical School, New Orleans. He is the medical director. Uh, he was the U.S. investigator. They found that based on a limited sample size of 147 patients, hematologic safety profiles for patients receiving chemotherapy after the radium were similar to those for patients receiving chemotherapy after placebo. This is a very important point because one of the reasons that oncologists were always very hesitant about giving any radionuclide treatment to the bone was the fear that the radiation may affect the bone marrow and here it's a very good study to show that actually it was safe to give the radium the alpha radin in conjunction with chemotherapy. The cohort of this analysis consisted of all patients who received chemotherapy and administration of radium or placebo. The proportion of patients receiving subsequent chemotherapy was 15% in the radium group and 18% in the placebo group. The most common chemotherapeutic agent administered were docetaxel, mitoxantron, and cyclophosphamide. Administering chemotherapy after a study drug had no deleterious effect on patient overall survival. And this is a very important point. Poster number 89PD, it was presented by Parker C. et al. They are from the Institute of Cancer Research and Royal Marsden Hospital from the United Kingdom and he was the principal investigator of this study. And the study was upgraded survival quality of life and safety data on the radium in patients with castration resistant with bone metastasis at phase three double blind randomized multinational study. This second preplanned analysis from 921 patients recruited into the study were presented by Dr. Parker from London Dr. Parker conducted the study, showed significant better preservation of quality of life. Significant preservation of quality of life with improved functioning of well-being compared to placebo, as well as confirming previously reported survival and surgery endpoint. The radium-223 dichloride, the alpha radin, improved the quality of life response rate versus placebo, 
27% versus 18%, and better preserved quality of life over time versus placebo. What's interesting to note is the alpha radin is not currently approved by the U.S. Food Administration or the European Medicine Agency, EMA, or any other health authority. But these two posters show on this phase three study material that it was safe and combination with chemotherapy did not affect side effects or, or uh, overall survival. And this will be very good news because hopefully the FDA will approve this drug fairly soon so patients that have castration-resistant prostate cancer advanced disease with bony metastatic disease will be able to get this drug which will be a tremendous addition to their momentum fighting the prostate cancer in the bone. Thank you for listening. For those of you that want to know more about the alpha radin, I'm referring you to our website, askdrbarken.wordpress.com and click on the search function there to find more information about alpha radin. If you have any question about the alpha radin, please don't hesitate to join our Ask Dr. Barken call-in show. You could dial the number one 727 3301 every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And you could call in and record a question or even between the show at any time you could dial that number and record a question. Hopefully I'll be able even to bring you live on the show and be able to chat with you and talk to you about your question. Stay well, stay informed, and have fun. Goodbye.